COVID vaccine has entered what's described as the pivotal stage before applying for FDA approval. It is a very large phase three trial from Johnson & Johnson. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez tells us that this trial may have some advantages over other candidate vaccines. The J&J &J Phase 3 trial proposes to enroll 60,000 volunteers in a placebo-controlled test. That's about twice as large as other companies, although Pfizer recently expanded its trial to 44,000 volunteers. While 60,000 is a massive undertaking, the J&J &J vaccine does have a couple of theoretical advantages over other vaccines. The first advantage is that the J&J &J vaccine may only require one shot as opposed to two shots with other vaccines. Second, while the J&J &J vaccine must be refrigerated, it does not have to stay frozen until use, like the Moderna and Pfizer vaccines. Both differences are major advantages when trying to immunize hundreds of millions of people, especially in underdeveloped countries. You have uh, seven billion people in the world. You need to see them once instead of twice. Yeah? So, it's a big logistic help to be able to get to a single dose vaccine. Also, it just can go in normal refrigeration when it goes to vaccination sites. Johnson & Johnson's chief scientific officer also told us that their experience developing Ebola and Zika vaccines gives them confidence that the common cold adenovirus J&J uses to deliver the vaccine is safe and induces significant immunity with just one dose. J&J studies also indicate that immunity from their vaccine may be durable, partly because it induces both antibodies and killer cell immunity. But they don't expect their trial to be complete until the end of this year and vaccinations to be given first to vulnerable populations in the first quarter of 2021. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News.